Hello Warriors and welcome back. This is Mars. Welcome back to another Kingdom Come Deliverance gameplay. Today I'm talking a little bit about numbered, uh, a little bit about outnumbered combat, how to survive a bit better in outnumbered combat, and what you should utilize. Now, if you've looked at this game or played this game, it is extremely it is extremely exhilarating combat. Now, one of the primary one of the primary foundations of this game is movement and defense. Most people don't really know that. Now, it really, if you plan on fighting outnumbered, or it's not so much you're planning to fight outnumbered, you are going to pl be fighting outnumbered no matter what when it gets to the higher levels. Even at lower level, I've had occurrences where I've been fighting six people at once. Three archers, one sword and shield guy, two sword guys. And sometimes the archers will just run head first into you if they decide to. I'm telling you right now, it really doesn't matter what type of weapon you use when fighting outnumbered. There are better weapons in terms of just raw power and damage on the master strikes or even just like getting sneaking in a strike or two for example the the maces and the axes are probably uh, probably one of the best weapons to use from a defensive standpoint just because they have the highest amount of counter damage swords have good counter damage but not against plate armor unless you're using a hunting sword but then again if you're going to use a hunting sword you might be better off using an axe unless you're challenging yourself even other swords can really meet uh meet meet that level in terms of damage but you have to play it uh you have to play the actuals uh you have to play it correctly so when you're fighting outnumbered you want to play more defensive because i mean you can't really go offensive all the time it doesn't really make sense if you're fighting three skilled knights i mean they're bandits but really they're 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 exiled soldiers probably probably in service to a king once you can't really you can't really go offensive with them especially three of them and at higher levels they're going to be veteran fighters there's going to be higher tier fighters these guys know what they're doing so you have to treat them as such you can't go offensive and expect that expect things to be okay so your best bet is always to start from a, a defensive standpoint until you get an opening now the best thing to do after that is analyzing the type or understanding the type of fighters you're running into. Now mainly you're going to be seeing sword and shield fighters. When you see sword and shield fighters you really don't want to be throwing out too many random attacks until you get the counters off. Even in most situations you can't um, you really just want to take your time and just make sure you mitigate some of the damage being, being, uh, being applied to you. You want to take your time look for an opening and then strike. Master Strike is kind of imperative in this game since it's 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 you're defensive but at the same time you're also offensive. The Master Strike allows you to put combos together. When you put combos together, you're just you're in a significantly better place to make counters. When you counter and take your time, you have a better success for victory. Now I want to talk a little about a little bit about gear. Since let's say you're going to be running into a lot of bandits and a lot of humans and sometimes even pedestrians with weapons, usually they're not a hassle unless they sneak you and hit you in the back of the head and there's like 12 of them. But that's, that's just an ad lib. There's usually not 12. Hopefully there's not 12. But um, when you're analyzing your opponents, you really have to see what type of weapons they're using and you have to engage on your own terms. For example, me, I like running straight out first. That, that's the first thing I like to do, because I have no idea how many how many people are really behind me. And uh, if you heard the thump right there, that was an arrow being shot straight into my back. So I'm being chased by like six humans here. So in most cases, you're gonna run into a group of either four to six people. If it's humans, it's usually gonna be six. It's gonna be two to three archers. They usually have a they one of them will have a sword. Excuse me. The other two will have a mace. It's kind of surprised because the archer had actually ran for me first instead of uh, instead of actually trying to pop me off with a bow. Because he was, his last three shots landed even while I was running, which means the AI is not fucking around. They are trying to put my ass fucking down. So here's the thing: when you're fighting in this kind of situation, you want to put as much separation between one or two of your enemies as much as possible. Luckily, I got this guy first which was kind of a godsend. So, like, I put him down first. I usually fight a lot slower because, I mean, he's a higher tier enemy compared to the other guys. And I'm probably going to go into detail about enemy levels uh, later on later on in another video. But going on this guy, you want, when you're, fi when you're sword fighting, you know you're outnumbered, take your time. 
you still want to put somebody down, but at the same time, take your time because you can't just throw out random attacks. You throw out combinations of attacks. So now, uh, another major thing, you never want anybody to take your back, so focus solely on keeping them in front of you. As hard as that is a majority of the time, especially when some NPCs just run circles around you and your cursor somehow gets applied to them, and then it's just stuck on them and you're pretty much running around in circles because of them. So really focus on backpedaling and maintaining your mass and maintaining your blocking. So when you're blocking, you're actively looking for whoever's gonna try and strike at you. Usually the first one who lunges at you is the first one who's gonna die if you master stroke properly. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was choosing your engagements oh, and fighting on your own terms. So basically what I mean by fighting on your own terms, you decide the terrain, you decide where you will fight, and you pretty much decide how you will live or you will die. Naturally, I never stand in one place because standing in one place will literally means death in this game. Uh, your trainer, Knight Bernard, he teaches you you always need to be moving. So utilizing, by uh, I pretty much expanded on this in my mind, utilizing the maximum range or maximum terrain to your advantage. Doesn't matter if you're cheesing someone on a rock or if you're act actively circling the rock and keeping your back protected. You use the terrain, you use the terrain or foliage or even the buildings to your advantage. The primary thing is, if you can put it, if you're a good shot with a bow, utilize it. If you're not as good as a fighter, then play to your own strengths. You have to work it to your own advantage. The game pretty much gives you a lot of different obstacles to try and surmount any type of way you can. If you like utilizing poisons and consumables, then buff up before your immediate fights. Know how to outwit the NPCs because in most situations they can counter you pretty powerfully. Now this fight wasn't anything too serious, I just used it just to give a simplistic viewpoint because I had a pretty nice shot near the end. But I'm going to show you a more serious fight momentarily. So this fight was is a much more accurate description of what I was talking about. So you've been here before, this is the woodcutter's camp right out of outside of Ladechko. Now, I get ambushed by a few Cubans, but what they don't know is I know that they're there. So I'm already looking around in the area. I'm already planning on booking it as soon as I get, uh, as soon as I hear any voices. That's what you see right here. I turn around. There's like four or five dudes run out the woods. There's actually six of them. There's two more lingering around somewhere. I think I have a hunting sword and a shield on me. Now, I kind of put everything here into play. The guy that's running straight for me is a captain, so like you can't... With that, I know I can't fully engage him while there's like four other guys, so I want to put him down immediately. Luckily, I got the headshot off. So like, there's actually five more people here. One with the one with the pole arm, and another another two or three archers, and one more sword and shield guy. So really, deciding how you wish to engage, you have to choose to fight on your own terms. I chose to fight. I, cho I chose to take out one of them as soon as possible, and it just so happened to be the most dangerous enemy there. For he, I say he's the most dangerous enemy there, for one, he's a sword and shield guy, which means he's going to be extremely passive throughout the most of it. And if, I'm, and if I remember correctly, he had a mace. So he's most likely the strongest opponent there, just because of his high warfare and high strength level. Most experienced, best equipment and he's the most damaging. So you don't want too many people on the playing field if you can surmount them. Now this fight kind of goes a long time and pretty much everything I kind of wanted to talk about in this video is pretty much up. So I do plan on doing much more commentaries in the future about many different topics for this game because it is, it, it is this is honestly one of my favorite games that I've played this year so far. The combat is really enjoyable. The movement isn't too bad. There are some bugs, but they're minor in terms of just the combat. I really do enjoy the combat the most out of this game. The other elements like the story and the gameplay is cool, but the combat really does it for me. So I plan on doing a lot more guys for this. And I hope that you guys will stick around if you do find this enjoyable. My name is Mars. Thanks again, Warriors. and Keep on slaying.